When someone dear to you dies, whether a friend or family member, the pain can be excruciating. Death is an unsettling scenario that may leave you with more questions than answers, whether you've known them your entire life or their time on earth was brutally cut short. It might be difficult to find solace following the death of a loved one. Many individuals just don't know how to deal, and if they work through the grief alone, it might take a long time to recover. But, a little act of compassion from a stranger can sometimes make all the difference. The death of a son was virtually unbearable for one family. The family was surprised, however, when another mourner unexpectedly reached out in an act of pure unselfish kindness. This narrative of sorrow, kindness, and fresh hope for mankind will astound you. Serving in the United States Air Force was a dream come true for Staff Sergeant Joseph Villasenor. He enrolled in 1994 and served faithfully for 16 years, pouring his heart and mind into his profession. When Joseph was committed, he gave everything he had. Joseph played softball for the Charleston Air Force Base's Softball League while in the Air Force. He was the perfect example of a terrific man to all of his fellow troops. Tragically, tragedy struck in 2010. Joseph was just 36 years old when he was killed in an automobile accident. His parents and wife, whom he had left behind, were horrified by the unfortunate turn of events and determined that his remains would be placed at the Garden Park Cemetery in Conroe, Texas. When his parents went to visit his grave one day, they were astounded by what they discovered. And it was all owing to a random stranger. Jake Reisig had lost his wife of 65 years in 2014, and he had never really recovered from her sudden death. Betty, his wife, had meant everything to him, and their life together had been picture perfect. The widower described his life with his wife as a fairy tale, and they had nine children. That was a crushing blow when she died. After losing her, Jake refused to say goodbye and developed a habit of visiting her cemetery on a regular basis. Yet, while in the cemetery, he began to do something else that would have an impact on the life of another family. Jake's day followed the same fundamental pattern. Every morning, he went to church for prayer before seeing one of his children for coffee before returning home to work in his garden. The retired senior needed to be active, that was how he dealt with his sadness in some respects. He clipped some roses from his yard in the afternoon and then went to Garden Park Cemetery to place them on his wife's tombstone. He even goes out of his way to irrigate the area around the headstone to keep the grass green. Friends and family wondered why Jake went to the cemetery every day, and the reason is rather romantic. Jacob gave his wife Betty a rose every day for the first 65 years of their marriage. Even in death. He refused to abandon a custom. But, in 2015, he chose to add another job to his schedule. A blistering drought hit Texas that summer, killing all of the vegetation in the cemetery. The brown grass around the headstones was a gloomy sight. And Jake couldn't stomach the thought of his wife's last resting place looking so dull. As a result, he devised a solution. Jacob started watering the grass around his wife's grave. After time, the extra work paid off, and the grass returned to its vivid green color. While he was well aware that watering the lawn during a drought would be frowned upon, the elder wanted to do right by the wife he sorely missed. Jake spotted a bereaved widow weeping at a neighboring gravestone one day while visiting the cemetery. The exhibition of genuine emotion pierced his heart, and he approached her calmly, trying to calm her down and provide her some consolation. After a few minutes of small chat, the woman revealed herself to be Joseph Villasenor's wife, and that he had died five years before. Jake told her that he had lost his wife the previous year, and the two of them were able to console each other. The retired senior made a small gesture, but he was pleased that he could bring a smile to her face for even a little minute. Jake felt terrible for the woman's situation even after she had departed. He had the opportunity to live a long life with his wife, but she only had a few years with her spouse. Jake felt he had to do something nice for her at that time. You won't believe what he came up with. Raymond and Rachel. Joseph's parents, hadn't visited their son's cemetery in months. 
they decided to go to the cemetery and spend some time with their darling boy, realizing they needed to push down the anguish and pay their respects. Yet, when the parents came, they were astounded to discover something unusual. Despite the drought and the cemetery as a whole being lifeless and brown, the grass around Joseph's plot was a robust, living, and vivid green. The sight astounded the bereaved parents who pondered how it was possible. I told my husband it had to be a heavenly miracle. Rachel told the local media. Is there anything else that might have explained it? Unfortunately, the parents were about to learn the truth, and it would bring them to tears. When the parents pondered how the grass had survived, they failed to notice Jake approaching them with a broad smile on his face. Jake wasn't sure how they'd respond to his meddling with their son's burial, but he hoped they'd enjoy it. He told them he had spoken with their daughter-in-law some months before and wanted to offer them a present. He described his own daily ritual for his wife's burial and expressed gratitude for being able to offer some solace to the family in some tiny manner. Jake admitted that he had also lost someone in the military. His daughter was married to a U.S. veteran named Benjamin, who was diagnosed with cancer shortly after being deployed. Despite going through chemotherapy, he died in 2011. Jake believed that watering his son's cemetery would respect his memory after learning that he had served in the military. Raymond and Rachel were astounded that Jake would go out of his way to do something so thoughtful for their family. They didn't know how to reward him, so Rachel simply hugged him and wiped away a few tears. Rachel and Raymond were unaware that their son Joseph and Jake were not strangers after all. At least not in Jake's opinion. He had been visiting their son's cemetery for months, watering and maintaining it, and he believed they had gotten to know each other spiritually. According to Jake's son, Roger, his father's devotion for Joseph, whom he now refers to as Joe, is just the way he is as a human being. He treats Joe the same way he does my mother and siblings. He's a loving man and spends his life selflessly. Roger didn't want his father's charitable act to go unnoticed. While his father was a humble man who always behaved out of compassion with no need for attention, he wished for his father to be recognized for being such a decent man just once. As a result, he decided to share his father's tale on Facebook. Roger explained his father's daily routine and his new relationship with the slain U.S. soldier, Joseph, in an emotional post. He was proud that his father was respecting a stranger and treating him as if he were one of his own children. He went on to say how important it is to make each day count and to love your family because you never know when they may be taken away. Roger had almost lost one of his own children a month before when three armed thieves rushed into his daughter's job. Fortunately, she wasn't working that day. But he understood how things could have gone wrong. Jake built a close relationship with his grandchildren as a grandfather and attempted to provide a good example of what pure love and selflessness can achieve for others. Jake's wife died, but his daughter perceives them to be still married. After the news of her father's wonderful act made headlines, she uploaded a photo of her parents from their sixth wedding anniversary. Mom and dad are still married, mom simply lives in heaven. If Jake wants others to take away one thing from his experience, it's to live each day with purpose and to prioritize love above everything else. You never know how much of a difference one simple act of kindness may make in someone's life.